This is uh, the ducting trench that we've been talking about throughout the videos. Um, we ended up, we've got the sheeting on there now and that's going to the carpet. It's gonna run right over top of that. Um, and then right here is where your the ducts are gonna go. Um, or sorry, the, the vents will go, vent caps will go here. And yeah, so that ended up finishing out very nice and I'm happy with how it turned out. So on, this is on the inside, but this same tape here, we used um, on the outside of the building to seal um, the, the wood plate right here to the concrete. And uh, we also did it on the doors here to make sure that the spots where we couldn't get spray foam into, we were able to seal the door right to the, the concrete. We're down at Roberta Ranch again today and we're doing our blower door test. Uh, I'm excited to see how that goes. Um, right now we're just getting set up for it. We spent the morning just going around and making sure that everything was tiddled up and, and in, a, in great shape. So we'll see how it goes. We're down here at Roberta Ranch again today. Um, about a week ago, we got our blower door test done and we blew 2.1 at our pre-con level, which is when just the exterior air barriers up and the poly. I was really hoping for a higher number, but it was our first time and I was a little bummed out. So about a week later, we did a bunch of work and tried to tighten up some of the areas where we had different lapping and the points that weren't going exactly as they could have or should have. And we ended up getting down to 1.6, which in my mind wasn't still where we wanted to go. So we ended up needing to call in some help and we're gonna get arrow barrier in and you know, I was really hoping that I was going to be able to get there without it, but you know, it, it was our first time and with what the energy advisor was saying, I, I, I did really, really good for my first time. So ideally we're going to get down to below one with aero barrier and I'm really looking forward to, to being able to achieve the step five that we were looking for and have a super airtight envelope and really be able to have a house that I'm going to be proud of. When I set out to do a goal, it's really important to me to make sure that we get there. And it really taxes me, I guess, emotionally when, when I don't hit the goals that I want to do. So I'm excited to be able to have the opportunity to be able to get there with, with a little bit of technology and use error barrier and know all the things that I learned. And, and it was a great learning lesson and I was really excited that I was able to try something new and be able to build on my skills because like I started out as a carpenter and if you're not learning and constantly getting familiar with new products and and understanding how things go together and problem solving I don't think that this is the right industry for you and now becoming a builder there's so many more things that now you're having to grasp and understand and sink your teeth into and I love that part of it and that's probably the reason why yeah, I'm still in this industry and why I want to continue down this road of just constantly getting better and I just want to share that with you guys and kind of let you know a little bit about how I feel about how I am as a person and, and how I want to continue and what kind of tasks I can do in the future and, and skills that I can learn. And I just really look forward to being able to build the absolute best house that I can. And because the future is bringing us to a place where we're gonna have more energy efficient homes, I wanna be at the top of the game and be able to understand everything that's gonna to need to go into those houses. And I really look forward to how things are gonna play out. At Buck Robertson Contracting, we do contracting with communication. So if you'd like your house built with communication, call us today. Bye for now. Right, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Air barrier on the outside. Right. Which was really good. And now we've all we've done is enhanced everything. And if there was any leakage through that air, air barrier and stuff right. like that through your poly, we've just tightened those holes up. Okay. Yeah, we plugged all the holes. Okay.
our little our little elves, our little <laughs> floating elves go and they. <laughs> Did you get that recorded? Oh, awesome! <laughs> nice. The outtakes, eh? Yeah. 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 Uh, Blooper reel, just for you, Paul. <laughs>